What's up, YouTube? We're back with another productivity hack. I'm Brandon, and today what we're doing is giving you a tool that's going to help you manage all of your file permissions within Google Drive in a single place. So the tool that we are discussing today is this spreadsheet we see right in front of us. And running an audit is really quite simple. All we do is go up to the file auditor at the top, click on run file audit, and that will run automatically for us. So if you have a lot of files, let's say thousands of files, this will take a little bit longer. I'd say the script probably analyzes about one file per second. So it may take up to 10 minutes or so to run the file audit, but you can go about your life and do other things in the meantime. So it looks like our audit ran successfully. And when we click okay, the spreadsheet will update with all of our files and the file permissions. And we can see all of our editors and viewers over here on the right-hand side. And if we would like to adjust those permissions, all we do is click on the file link for the file name here, and we can adjust them accordingly. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how to set this spreadsheet up. As always, I'm gonna leave a link to all the resources where you can get the spreadsheet in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you're ready to jump right in. Okay, so here we are in the publicly available version of the spreadsheet that you will get by following the link in the description. And the first thing we need to do is copy the spreadsheet over to our account because we don't currently have full access. We can only have view access right now. So I'm going to go to File, Make a Copy, and we can rename the spreadsheet whatever we'd like. But be aware that there are some app script files associated with this document. So if you are worried about that at all, you can click this link here and inspect the contents of those files to make sure nothing nefarious is happening. I always recommend doing that, especially if you don't know the source of who wrote the files, because you just never know. So I wrote this myself, so I'm confident nothing is happening. I'll click make a copy and move on. And it'll navigate us over to the version of the spreadsheet that we own. And in which case, there's going to be two steps that we need to follow in order to get this up and running, which are very quick and easy. So the first step is to jump out of the spreadsheet by clicking this green icon, because not all of our options have loaded at the top here. So I'll click on the icon and then jump back into the document. And once we do that, once this is finished loading, at least, the options should populate at the top here. Sometimes it doesn't load the first time, so you might need to jump back out and jump back in, but it will load eventually. So we now have our file auditor here. I'm going to go to our other tab, file audit tab, and I'm going to run it from here so we can see what's happening. The second step that we need to follow is just run the file audit. And the first time we do this, it's going to ask us to allow some permissions. So I'll go ahead and continue. I'll select the account that we are logged in with, and then it's going to show us the permissions that it's asking for. You can get a full breakdown of these if you'd like to look into them. Uh, they are a little disconcerting because it seems to be asking for everything essentially, but all this script is doing is reading the files from your Google Drive account and putting them in the spreadsheet so nothing is being edited. And if you'd like to check them out, feel free. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click allow to move on. And we are now ready to run our file audit. So I'll go back up to file auditor, run file audit. And this may take longer, as I mentioned, if you have a lot of files, if you have thousands, it may take 10 minutes or more, but you can go about your life and do other things in the meantime. And when you come back, you will have a full audit of all your files and who has access, viewing access, as well as editing access to each file. So this should finish up here in just another second. There aren't that many files in this account. It looks like it is successful. I'll click OK. Our spreadsheet will update, and we now have a list of all our files, as well as who has access to each of those files. And if we'd like to update those, we can just click on the name of the file. Uh, it takes us to a link that is directly associated with the file, so we can jump into it, adjust the permissions, and then make sure everybody who has access should have access to our files. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope you get a lot of value out of this spreadsheet. If you do, please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.